It's a matter of being uh, very responsible for the next generation. It's not just states, but also families. Uh, they can, at the end, whatever they have as an income, that's what they also can pay. And I don't think that states and governments are giving good example when they build up mountains of debt on cost of the next generation. Whenever I see strong people who centralize everything, I worry. Whenever I see states that just one man is in front and is running the whole show, I worry. I believe that everyone is important. I believe that everyone can contribute to development. I believe that on this planet we have 193 countries member of the United Nations and any one of them, no matter rich or poor or strong or weak, contributes and has to contribute to the global development. Because of that, it's a matter of respect, but also it's a matter of democratic thinking. Decentralized systems always work better than centralized. So at the end, democracy is not perfect, but it's the best we have. And the most democratic countries in the world, just look at Switzerland where we are today, they're so democratic, they're so rich, they're so advanced because of decentralization. Let me make a very clear point. In the planet, you have just two types of rich countries. Those who have natural resources, gas, petrol, and those who have institutions. Now, those who have petrols and, uh, and, and, and resources are rich, but not on a sustainable way. The most sustainable, rich, developed human countries on the planet are those who build up decentralized systems of regions, mayors, institutions, rules that apply to everyone. And exactly in those countries you see people are happy and people stand to their systems and they support them. So I would wish that what we learn from Switzerland, from Germany, from Denmark, from the Nordic countries, from the Baltic countries, where democracy is held high and the system is decentralized, this will happen also in the business. Unity in the diversity of mankind. And that unity is that we all want to have peace, we all want to have solidarity, and we want to see justice. And talking about peace and talking about justice, talking about solidar systems that are giving a hand to everyone and helping everyone, talking about systems that everyone is important, this is where the decentralized systems uh, make a huge impact, but they're just in the beginning of their development. So it's worth fighting for them.